what's up scrappy peeps it's Del from Icky Quill and I'm up with a layout video today of this little squishy face man um I love this photo it's Archie seems to he's listening as I record this voiceover and trying to grab my microphone um but as you can see he has quite a frown don't you buddy yeah quite a frown and he constantly frowns at everything um he only has basically two facial expressions either or three let's go with three he's either frowning he's either so zoned out he's about to go to sleep or he's smiling his head off there's not really a neutral um zone for archie and so when i accidentally took this photo i knew that i just i had to scrap it so today I'm using a few different things that I wouldn't usually do. So I'm using the cover of a paper pad. Um, as you can see, I'm using that Maggie Holmes carousel uh, cover and I couldn't not, it has freaking gold glitter, like not foiling, but gold glitter on the, on the cover, not just the papers inside, but on the cover too. So I had to, um, I just had to use it. I'm just using some printer paper to create a tiny skinny white border around the photo to match with the white lines uh, that are in the grid pattern, I guess you'd call it, from the uh, cover of the paper pad. And I actually today used some fabric. Now, I, I guarantee fabric's not um, acid free and all of that shebang um, I create for the creative process not for the longevity I guess I don't expect these my 55 million scrapbooks that I, I we all know I'm going to have by the time I'm 50 um, I don't expect them to stay around for generations and generations uh, it's more just a creative fun outlet for for me to do so I grabbed this uh, fabric it's like a quilting bundle and the fabrics are stunning and I do kind of feel bad that I have kind of wasted a bit of the fabric by covering it up because uh, you don't get much in these I think it's is it a fat quarter I don't know you quilting ladies might know um, but I decided to kind of use it like a layering piece of paper and the reason why it's different is that it does have a softer texture you can really tell that it is in real life that it is actually fabric and it's not just a piece of pattern paper so i'm using a lot of tacky glue here i didn't really know the best adhesive to use but i figured wet glue would be better than double-sided tape i just thought it would hold a little bit more uh, and you can see i went over the side a bit so i'll cut that off in a little moment there we go um but this is quite <laughs> you minimalist minimalists out there will be laughing at this but it is quite a minimal layout for me there's no mixed media yeah there's no mixed media is there no 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 mixed media uh it's just a very simple layout and it, because it is so simple the photo does really pop which is what I was what I was aiming for it's also quite soft and you can like uh, I get so frustrated with the color pink and it's stereotyped girlness um, so I wanted to do a layout that shows that you can do hints of pink on a boy layout especially a baby boy they're so sweet and innocent and pink's just a color so I uh, and it's one of my faves so I definitely had to do a few splashes here and there of some baby pink I'm adding some adhesive now and I'm doing quite a lot because the fabric is surprisingly heavy uh, and I didn't want it to fall off Archie is distracted right now by me waving my pen around while I'm recording this voiceover and I feel like if I stopped wiggling my pen all hell would break loose so i'm just going to keep wiggling my pen he's growing or well not growing he's sprouting new teeth um i think they'll be through in the next couple of days while i'm recording this it's still uh, the end of november and i think it's not going to be it's not going to be fun it's his top two ones and you can see them they're almost out so he's being a bit of a little bit of a cozy mummy's boy today which I can't blame him because it wouldn't be put thank goodness we can't remember being a baby because that that would not be a fun experience I don't think so right now I'm going through the paper pad 
I needed to figure out how I was going to do the title. For a while, I was going to cut out letters myself um, because I saw someone posted in Scrapaholics the other day a layout that I did ages ago for the wedding album where I cut out letters from pattern paper and it kind of inspired me to try it again. Um, but I decided it was already too busy and I found these black word thickers. Oh, I don't know who they're, they're thickers. They're American Crafts thickers. I don't know what collection they're with though. Uh, and I found the word sweet. And I decided to put that sweet little frown because it is a very sweet little frown. As far as frowns go, it's a pretty adorable one. Uh, it doesn't look too cranky. It's very hard to take the crankiness seriously when he looks so cute. So I just do a bit of scripty font at the top using my Stadler pigment liner. And then I do a little bit of journaling down the bottom. Uh, she's found a cup. Goodbye cup. Cup fell off. Don't you just love it when they they start throwing things just to just to have a game of throwing things that's the stage we're in at the moment so I really like the title I think it kind of matches the the darkness of his eyes I think if I was to do a white title it would have been lost um, and I think I would if I would have done a gold title it would have been too much now I'm going through some DIY embellishments that I've previously made and the ones that I end up going with um, are from a Patreon video that I made a few months ago where I think the video went for an hour long uh, and it was real time as I made some little DIY embellishments. I was tossing up between that green and pink butterfly because I've been desperately trying to use it for ages. It's something about like seeing always see the good side of life or look on the bright side it's something like that and I've just never had the need for using a word sticker like that and I thought it'd be perfect for this one but that yellow just made the yellow from the background popped and I really think it makes the I really do think it makes the layout that little embellishment and because it was an embellishment that was already made uh, it took two seconds to Put together stick it on done so i can't recommend making embellishments yourself uh, more it's so much fun and it makes you scrapping so much easier and much quicker if you're time poor like i am so if you want to see the video you can head over to patreon um, and become one of my patrons if you'd like the links always in the description below so next up i'm adding my journaling and i'm adding some journaling because i always frown myself and i <laughs> don't know if it's a trait that archie's picked up um, or if he's just learning about the world and that's how he's concentrating face but Aaron often if I'm stressed or I'm anxious especially when I my anxiety flares up I frown all the time and um, Aaron has to tell me to think about something else so he'll say you know think about if we're at home he'll say think about dinner and I'll think about dinner and it will stop me from frowning but um, I think little Mr. Moo has a frown as well should take a matching frowning photo one day <laughs> so now i'm just adding a couple of little sprinkly bits there's some chipboard hearts from uh, that i got a while ago from citrus twist and a wood button i think it's from chamel or dear lizzie one or the other and i add another little one down here i just wanted a couple of delicate little sprinkles and as always i'm kind of going in that diagonal kind of shape um, good boy, you're being a good boy while mummy does her voiceover. Keep being good, you've only got a couple of minutes to go. He's giving me that look like, Mum, I'm about to blow. Um, but I just wanted these sprinkles just to just to juxtapose kind of the the big big harshness of the focal area. I hope that makes sense. But I I always like to have layouts that have something big and bold, but also a couple of little sprinkles just to kind of balance it out a little bit. So I'm adding a doodly border because I'm in a real doodly border phase at the moment. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I love me a good doodly border. They just are fun and playful and a little bit artsy because it looks very handmade. And I just really like them. So I'm adding a few little squiggles on my border. And if I'm timing this right, let me look at my calendar. I'm trying to... I think I'm going to take a week off uh, for between Christmas and New Year for YouTube. So this video should be going up on Christmas Eve Eve. <laughs> 
So if this video goes up Christmas Eve Eve, I think I'm going to take a one week holiday for myself for next week between uh, Christmas on Monday and New Year on the following Monday. And so you won't see videos for me for a week just because I, Aaron's got the week off and I kind of just want to relax and not have to edit anything for a week. It'd be a really nice change. Um, but I will be back in the new year with lots more videos. Please let me know in the comments below what are your favorite things to watch me make? Uh, do you prefer layouts? Do you prefer project life, embellishments? Uh, what do you like to see? Do you like to see layouts like this that don't have mixed media? Do you like to see mixed media? Uh, let me know because I'm ready to get making and to get a lot of videos up for you guys. So we're all done. The jazz fingers are there. A little bit of hardy shine to finish off. Of course, the finishing touch had to be a bit of hardy shine. And I just love this layout. I love it so much. I kind of, part of me wants to frame it in my house. And I'm very tempted to take a really good photo of it. Have, has, has anyone ever done that? Taken photos of their layouts and put them up in their house? <gasps> That's an idea. I might do that. All right. Thanks for watching today, guys. And sorry about all the tangents, but it's an Inky Quill video. It's what you walk into. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the new year. Have a very Merry Christmas. I love you guys and I'll see you very soon. Bye.